Hey, good morning. It's Betty. And today I will be removing this big tail off the back of the Kawasaki Z900. Knee Z900. Uh, I will be removing this tail off the back of the Kawasaki Z900. This is what I'll be replacing it with. It bolts right up under here. We will take the turn signal lights, place them here, and the brake lights will go here and the tag will go down here. So the way to access this, um, to remove this, is we'll need to remove the back and we use the key to do that. There's a little keyhole on the side. So the tail is held on by these four bolts right here. We will go ahead and remove them and that will allow us to drop the tail off and then we'll put the new one right on there. So we'll be using a size 9 Allen for this. There is one more, it's a Phillips head screw, holding it in. Now we have a little Phillips screw right here, holding this case together, and it should split in two where I'll be able to remove the, the lights from. There's also a screw back here as well. And there's a little eight millimeter nut right in here that is holding the reflector on. And once we loosen that, we should be able to split this compartment in two. Okay, there. So you just have to kind of pull to get that out of there once you removed the eight millimeter nut. And now the case should separate in two easily. Yep, yeah, there we go. And now that we've got this separated and taken apart, let's just test fit the new piece. Make sure the holes are gonna line up. Yep, it looks good. So that's where the new one will go. And it came with a couple of zip ties that we'll have to use to wrap these wires up under here because it, since it doesn't have the whole housing like this, it'll be a little different, but it'll be okay. There. So you can see the screw and you can see this clip. So once we take off the screw, we'll be able to remove this metal thing, which will allow us to remove this assembly. Now we remove the screw and now we can remove this piece. And I'm just gonna set it down exactly like this so I'll know which way it goes. And then there's also this little metal piece. You have to remove that so you'll be able to pull the light through. I may need pliers. Let's see if I can pop it out with this. Yeah. There we go. So see, it's just a piece of metal. So now I'm taking the little rubber bushings off of this side 
off of this and placing them over here on the new one. Uh, the kit also came with the center bushing for the, for the light. And the way I'm putting it in is just using a screwdriver. You have to be careful because you don't want it to slip and poke you. But you just push it along and it will, it, you can push the rubber into the hole. So I see there's one modification that I'm going to have to make to this uh, bracket. Uh, as you see, I got the grommets in here and over here on the sides that the uh, blinker lights go in, I will have to cut this out. There's two little tabs I can just cut here and here and uh, do that on both sides because um, the lights are not gonna fit in otherwise. There, that wasn't too difficult. It, um, because, of, because there was one right on top of the other, all you really had to do is tap. I mean, I cut it, but I didn't cut it all the way, but when I hit at it, it kind of spun and you could just twist it right off of there. And then I grind it down so it wasn't sharp anymore. So all we have to do now is transfer everything from here to here, put it back up in there, and we should be good to go. And now we've come to a part where I wish it could be different, but if we want this on here, we have to cut some wires. I hate to cut wires on a new bike. I've tried looking at it to see if there's any way I can maybe go in here and remove, but this is LED and these wires are hooked right on here where, where it'd be more difficult and more chances of something going wrong if I tried taking this off by unscrewing it and disassembling the light assembly and then trying to slide it through here and put it back on the other one and even if i said well i'm not going to use this plastic i can cut it i still won't be able to put it in the other piece so there's no way around it we're gonna have to cut it but i have all my electrical stuff ready we're gonna put it back as good as new maybe even better than new <laughs> I'm going to solder the wires together so they won't ever come apart. Trust me, it'll be fine. <laughs> so because I want to do this job as good and perfect as possible, I'm cutting back this plastic sheathing so that I can get a good look at the wires so I can be able to reach them, solder them, and make sure everything's perfect. Now it would be ideal to work at the table, but because I have the wires under the, where are my glasses? On your bike, I can't do that. So first I attach this to here. So it won't be hanging. It has to be through here before I connect the wires. There. Okay, I got the wires stripped off the ends and the plastic uh, sheathing cut back on this side. And now we'll do the same thing to the other side, <laughs> the part that's on the bike. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this done. First, we're gonna go ahead and cut up this as far as we can to give us enough room to work with. I don't want to cut the wires under it, so I'm just going to cut it little by little until I get it as far back as I feel comfortable with.
I gotta cut it far enough back where I can slide the heat shrinks on and they're gonna stay far enough away from the soldering that they don't start shrinking before I cover them up with the, um, before I cover up the wires. So, and the heat shrink's not gonna fit on here with, with this sheathing. So let's see if that's enough. Now, we'll get two pieces of heat shrink, slide it back as far back as we can, keep it out of the way of the heat. Too bad I don't have a better lighting in here. It'd be nice to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so now I got the heat shrink that's going to cover all of it when it's done and I got the two pieces that's going to cover these wires. Turn on my solder gun, get it heating up. Okay, so I got this. Had my fan running so that I could wash the... So I did the first top part, I soldered it. I put this piece of electrical tape on the bottom so that uh, it will keep the wire separate, make sure nothing gets soldered together. We don't want that happening. So now I'll gently remove this tape. And yeah, so that solder's cool. I'll go ahead and just cover that top one for extra precaution. We don't need anything getting connected that doesn't need to be connected. So we'll put the wires together and twist them together really well. Ouch, that one went my finger. Helpful if I put on my glasses. and squeeze together. Now we gotta stay away from that tape. And we gotta solder those together. Sorry if it's not really that good of a view for you, but it's the best I can do in this situation. All right, now that it's cool, I'll remove this tape and we will put the heat shrinks on. Tighten it up on there. Perfect. Now, slide the one to cover it all. There we go. I'll mount that down. No one will even know anything was there. Okay, well, let's check and see if this is going to work. Um, blinker, yep. I'm good. 
All right, well, we got one more side to do, and we'll be done. I better get, get to work, and it's getting late. Okay, we are in the home stretch now. I checked, they all work. And so it's just putting it back on. I guess four bolts is all we got. <laughs> so let's uh, just button that up and we'll be done. Look at that. That looks a lot better than the old one sticking out. Just just the tag and and your lights. That's it. Well, <laughs> it's been a day. I'm not sure if uh, it looked like it in the video or not, but this took me pretty much all day to do. And uh, I was only, I guess it's just surprising to me because it was Mine really wasn't that difficult. You just snapped off the old pieces and snapped them on the new one. I don't remember how long it took. I, I did make a video on it. I mean, sure, it took a little rerouting everything, but there was no electrical work to do or anything like that. That was for the Ninja 400. But for this uh, Z1000, Z900, what is it? <laughs> Z900. Well, um, but for this bike, it that was the only um, tail shorteners, or I'm not sure. I guess it's just called a license plate bracket, and it's the only ones that we could find. I found another one that we had ordered before, but it really didn't fit. And so this one here, at least it fit, and it did take a lot of work to put in. But I'm happy with the results. It looks a lot better now, and hopefully he will be too. That's, that's about it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.